today. Well, we uh, finally got started combining canola here again. Uh, yeah, well, kind of late yesterday afternoon. Um, I wasn't around until. Uh, oh, there you go. Get in the gear there, bud. I wasn't around until uh, around supper time because I had to go to a wedding on the weekend in old Saskatoon, but I uh, got back and Dad and Antoine and Rob finished off, uh, uh, there's about 25 acres or 30 acres of mine there where it had gotten hailed on real bad. They finished that off and we got moved to Antoine's and uh, all three combines ran for a little while till trucks got full so dad went home with one full truck to unload it and uh, then Rob broke a chain on his pickup on the 2188 so it was down to just uh, me and the Massey because Antoine was trucking as well <clears throat> bringing full trucks back to the yard and empty ones out they're trying to fill up the faraway bins first just with uh, loaded trucks last night because they never got the auger moved down to his field there. It was uh, going to be too late otherwise by the time we got everything moved so we just started combining and filled up trucks but I ran till about midnight with the Massey and uh, we loaded up uh, three three tons and one tandem so we've done a pretty fair little jag there. It's yielding a hell of a lot better than my hailed on stuff did so <laughs> but uh, is what it is so <clears throat> we've got two days here they're calling for uh 17 and 19 degrees outside i don't know what that is an american 80 something probably so but uh and then right after that on wednesday it's down to zero and a possibility of snow for three or four days it's only highs of like three so uh <clears throat> not much good for combining when weather gets like that so but then a little while after that, it warms up again uh, back to uh, highs of 10, 12 in there again. So we'll have this canola done and we'll be down to my uh, 130 acres of soybeans. So it'll only be about a day worth of combining in those beans. But we got a solid couple days here in this canola. We're going to give her all we got to get her done before uh, Wednesday anyways. So. Anyway, there's combines going everywhere. It's a little bit early, I think. Uh, I think they're kind of pushing it a bit, but by the time we get there and get uh, fuel on and that chain fixed, it'll be uh, perfect to go. So, I guess we'll talk to you here in a few minutes. Chug along with the old Massey. Pour it in there like a son of a bitch, too. So got a, this is Antoine's down here that we're on, so he's got a hell of a good crop down here. Nice and hot and windy out, and all that rain on here. The straw is just rotten, so I'm uh, thundering through it pretty damn good here. Uh, the 1682 dad's running it he's over there I don't know if you can see the dust and then Rob's in the 2188 somewhere over behind me so we're uh, we're doing acres anyway Antoine's over there dumping I just filled him up here filled the truck uh, 
couple minutes ago, so I'm uh, I keep on going. There's a few soft spots. I've been leaving the odd bit of tracks, but nothing. It's not near as bad as I thought it was going to be. I've only come across one spot here so far where uh, crop was laying in water, and I couldn't get it. So it's uh, quite a lot better than I thought it was going to be. But you still got to be. Uh, you got to watch a little bit. It's kind of soft here and there, but. This thing's got uh, race tires on it. Real, real deep lugs. They're about twice as deep as a normal traction lug, so I can uh, chew through quite a bit with this guy. In previous real wet years, uh, Antoine's dad borrowed this combine with the straight header to do wheat because there's 7720. Uh, it was getting stuck everywhere. This thing chewed through it. The only thing that was kind of shit is uh, turning with it. Uh, you turn the back tires and it would just drag them. You'd keep going straight, your wheels would be turned, but it would just pull them. So you can see it's fairly soft there, but. <laughs> Nothing uh, that'd be too much of a concern anyways. So there must have been water laying there and it's just finally, it had dried up but the ground's still wet. There's a more or less like a crust on the, dirt everywhere but gotta watch in a few spots but we got a long way to go yet so we'll keep on keeping on well we've been going all day here it's about 6 30 i think already dark out because it's that time of the year i guess but uh it's running pretty good. We're uh, a little, quite a ways over half done here now. So uh, all goes well. well. We'll be done tomorrow. I'm going to be running pretty late here tonight. So I'm going to get this truck loaded. And then I'll uh, probably leave you guys here because I want to edit this video here while I'm going. And. Uh, get it uploaded here tonight for everybody so hopefully everything goes according to plan I'm gonna try and uh, do a live stream tomorrow the last of our uh, canola hopefully hopefully <laughs> as long as everything works but anyway uh, Antoine got his that 5,000 bushel bin full plus a 1350 at home so uh, him and dad are moving the uh, auger back to grandpa's I got a 3300 bushel bin there I'm gonna let them use and that'll fit a uh, fair majority of what's left here and uh, he's gonna call we're gonna combine into that for the rest of the night and he's gonna truck back there so the uh, 1682 is not moving right now because dad's giving him a hand but Rob's in the 2188 over there and we're still uh, just a chugging along with the old Massey here, so. As long as things keep going good, we'll uh, have all this bloody canola in the bag anyway, and then we'll just be down to the beans, so. That would be nice anyway. Because I'd still like to go out and do uh, some custom flock straw bailing for the flock straw people again like we done last year too so got to get our uh, get the harvest done here obviously before we can do any of that but and a bunch of field fall work and what have you but I'll uh, we'll do what we can do and that's about all the guy can really do I guess right <laughs> swaths are and keep on chewing so I guess thank you guys for uh, watching the video hope you like what you've seen and uh, leave a comment down below subscribe for more we'll talk to all you guys here in the next one